This short video will illustrate how to extend QGIS functionality with Python and R. QGIS is a feature-rich geographic information system software. It is a well-established software that dates back to 2002. One of its main advantages that it provides seamless integration with other software, including PostGIS, GrassGIS, Saga, MySQL, and many others. Extensive help and documentation are also available that are useful resources for both the beginner and advanced users. QGIS is an open source software that is also platform independent. It means that it can be used on all major operating systems, including Microsoft Windows, Mac OS, and several Linux distributions as well. The project's website contains more resources and is available at QGIS.org. Python is a general purpose, high level programming language that can be used in connection with QGIS. This presentation will show several examples of how Python can be used to extend QGIS functionality. QGIS was written in the C++ language. However, its functionality can be extended with both C++ and Python. One of the advantages of using Python over C++ is that Python code is easier to share. For example, it does not require compilation, therefore it is easier to transfer between host machines. Python can be used in the following ways in QGIS. Running commands in the Python console, creating plugins, executing commands on startup, creating processing algorithms, creating custom applications using the QGIS API that jump outside of the QGIS environment. The processing tool is one of QGIS's main components. It is a collection of algorithms, models, and GIS tools. It contains all native QGIS tools, including geoprocessing operations, tools for handling GIS files and databases, <coughs> and spatial analysis functionality. For users already familiar with AGIS, it is similar to the ARC toolbox. QGIS supports multiple processing providers, including GrassGIS, Saga, and GDAL. Practically, it means that QGIS can serve as the front end of other software, essentially allowing the use the functionality from an external software from within a QGIS environment. QGIS also has the ability to add other third-party processing providers, such as R statistics. One way to use Python in QGIS is through the Python console. It can be opened from the plugins menu by selecting the Python console menu item. Interacting with the software and its environment is done through the QGIS interface class. The iFace variable is an instance of this QGIS interface class. For user convenience, the following lines are executed by default on console startup. These lines import the necessary modules and submodules to interact with QGIS, including the iFace variable. The following screenshot provides a quick illustration of how the console can be used. On the left-hand side, the layer code PLSS underscore TR underscore 2004 is active as it is highlighted in blue. To interact with this layer, one can use the iFace variable and call its active layer method as shown in line four. Later, properties and methods of this layer can be used. For example, line five prints out the name of the active layer programmatically to the console. Similarly, line nine extracts the number of vector features in this layer. Another way to use Python is through plugins. 
QGIS comes with some default plugins, such as the database manager, geometry checker, and the processing plugin. External plugins can also be installed through the official plugin repository, which is shown in the screenshot, and through local installation as well. Many other plugins use Python. QGIS plugins written in Python need to follow a specific structure. More about this can be found out in the QGIS Python developer cookbook. In plugins, only functionality exposed through the QGIS interface class can be used. Most plugins are also open source, meaning that their source code and structure can be studied. Studying existing plugins can often stand as an example for developing new ones. More information about QGIS plugins is available at plugins.qgis.org. QGIS can also run Python code on startup. Every time the software starts, the user's home directory in QGIS is scanned for a file named startup.qgis.org. By. Its content will be executed by the embedded Python interpreter. This method is useful for customizing the QGIS interface every time the stuff software opens. In this simple example, a few lines of Python codes are used to add a custom menu item to the QGIS interface. More specifically, it will add a new menu option that will open the web browser showing the QGIS Python Developer Cookbook website. As we can see, external Python modules can also be used in QGIS. In this case, the module web browser is imported. This module controls the operating system's internal browser. Other parts of the code define a function that opens a website. Furthermore, it binds this function to a newly created menu item in the default help menu. Following is a few examples of using Python in the QGIS software, including the example shown on this slide. The Python console can be opened through the plugins menu by selecting the Python console menu item. This will open a tab in the middle of the screen. Users can interactively type Python commands into this console, which will be executed by the embedded Python interpreter. For example, we can use the print function to print a string out to the console. We can also access the active layer through the iFace variable as it was mentioned in the presentation. We can store a reference to the active layer with the following line. As we can see, the variable called my layer implements the QGIS vector layer object. The name of the active layer can be accessed through the name method. It is also possible to extract the number of vector features in this layer. The Python console also has a built-in code editor. It can be opened 
by pressing the show editor button. More comprehensive Python code, a script can be constructed in this window and also executed by pressing the run script button. Plugins can be installed from the plugin manager, which can be opened through the plugins menu by selecting the manage and install plugins menu item. Users are presented a list of available plugins that can be filtered by name. It is also possible to customize the QGIS interface using Python. For example, we can add custom menu items. As it was shown in the last slide in the presentation, we can add a custom menu item into the help menu. By typing the code into the Python console, a new menu item was added. This menu item opens the web browser and pulls up the QGIS developer cookbook website. As it has been mentioned, R can also be used as a processing provider in QGIS. R is a programming language and software environment designed for statistical computing. It is a popular choice among scientists, statisticians, and in industry because it includes a large collection of libraries for a variety of tasks, such as machine learning, spatial statistics, statistical inference, just to name a few. R scripts utilizing R libraries and resources using standard R syntax can be executed in QGIS. Currently, it is available as a plugin that can be turned on using the plugin manager. The plugin manager is accessible through the plugins menu by selecting the manage and install plugin option. The plugin that initiates R as a processing provider is called Processing R Provider. Another plugin, the resource sharing plugin is also useful. It contains a number of predefined processing algorithms, including several resources written in R. R scripts in QGIS essentially will become processing tools that can be executed from the processing toolbox. When developing R scripts for QGIS, certain headers must be set. These either pass information to R and QGIS about the tool or will become graphical fields for the dialog window when joining the tool from the processing toolbox. In this example, users will be able to set a parameter called X using a QGIS layer, after which the name of this field will be passed on to the R interpreter and it can be referenced within the R script. Similarly, the upper and lower fields can also be used in the R script. This method provides the connection between, the, between QGIS and R softwares. Next, we will see how to enable R as a processing backend in QGIS. To use R as a processing backend in QGIS, First, the plugin must be installed and turned on. It can be done from the plugin manager, which opens from the plugins menu by selecting the manage and install plugins menu item. First, users will need to search for the R processing plugin.
it is called processing our provider. By selecting the checkbox, users will be able to install the plugin. Once installed, it will also appear in the installed plugins tab. It is recommended to do the same with the QGIS resource sharing plugin. Again, first users will need to search for the plugin. Then if it's not installed by selecting the checkbox and clicking install plugin, users will need to install it. Once installed, Once installed, R will appear as an option in the processing toolbox. Creating new, new R script is done by pressing the R button and then selecting create new R script. Since the resource sharing plugin is also installed, several predefined R scripts will appear in the processing toolbox that are ready to use. They are grouped into several categories, including geostatistics, basic statistics, ggplot for plotting, and so on. For example, we can select the point pattern analysis and check the Monte Carlo Spatial Randomness tool. This tool will run a Monte Carlo test for the point patterns. It is based on Ripley's K function. So first users will need to select a layer, then enter the number of simulations and the name of the plot. By running the tool in the background, QGIS calls R and the script and an R script will be executed. Once done, the result will appear in the result viewer. In this case, R generated a plot showing the Ripley's K function corresponding to the point pattern that was loaded into QGIS. This way, we connected QGIS and the spatial layer that was loaded in the GIS software with R as a statistical modeling software. We can also further inspect the R scripts. For example, right-clicking on the tool and selecting edit script will open the R script that we just executed. It will open in a different window that contains the R code using the standard R syntax and also the headers that were needed to create this processing tool. As we can see, it is possible to load any R libraries in the script, which makes it an effective tool for connecting QGIS with other statistical functionality. This presentation showed examples of how QGIS can be extended with both Python and R. Further resources can be found at the following links. For example, the QGIS Python cookbook, uh, 